Hello YouTube, hope this video finds you well. Today we're going to look at the Alden Horsebit Loafer from their Cape Cod collection. I have had these shoes, uh, I think two months ago marks 10 years that I've had them. In that 10 year period, I have worn them, I don't even know how to count how many times. I've worn them in the summer, the winter, spring, fall, snow, rain, in an office building, and out in the middle of a field uh, for, you know, different family gatherings or weddings or you, funerals, you name it. These shoes have held up incredibly well. I have never polished them. I have never put any leather conditioner on them. I've never put any, you know, severe sole guard on the bottom of them, and you could never tell it. The leather is still just as buttery soft as it was the day that I tried them on for the first time. These shoes, unlike really any other dress shoe I've ever had, um, and some are better than others as far as how they feel when they're brand new, as far as their break-in period, these felt broken in from the moment that I tried them on and have remained arguably the com most comfortable dress shoe I've ever owned. These were the first kind of real, I hate to use that term, you know, don't want it to sound too disparaging, but these were the first what I would consider real dress shoe that I ever owned. You know, up until this point, I'd had Weijins and I'd had Cole Hans back when they used to make a bit loafer. Uh, they were actually pretty decent, uh, for especially for the money and the availability. But that was back when they were still made in Italy, and then they went to a period where I'm not really sure where they were made, and quality kind of went downhill from there, and then they quit making them entirely, but that's for another video. But I also had a pair of, um, not Cole Hans, um, Allen Edmonds at the time, which I might do a video on those. I still have them just to kind of see what 10 years of wearing an Allen Edmonds shoe looks like. But I say all that to say this, these shoes have held up amazingly well. I, I have zero complaints. I still wear them on a regular basis, if not once a week, close to it. Uh, I've kind of throttled back on wearing them just because they're irreplaceable, really. Uh, Alden doesn't make these anymore and they have been discontinued probably since around the time that I bought them 10 years ago. That being said, I'm not 100% sure that Alden actually made these. I have a feeling based on what I heard from a gentleman I used to work with uh, at that menswear store that they were made by Rancourt. I don't personally believe that. Um, he would know better than me. Uh, I kind of have a a subtle gentleman's disagreement with them just because of the nature of the shoe as far as how it physically looks. As far as Rancourt, how they make theirs, I actually believe personally that these are were uh, made by Oak Street Bootmaker. Oak Street Bootmaker offers a horse bit loafer that looks basically exactly like this. The only difference is the leather is slightly a different color uh, and their sole uh, color is slightly a little bit different color. Um, but other than that, the horse bits look the exact same, the exact same size. Um, this band here is proportioned the exact same way. Uh, to me, everything about the shoe looks like an Oak Street Bootmaker shoe. Um, I, but I don't own a pair of Oak Street Bootmaker shoes, uh, horse bits, uh, to compare them to. Hopefully one day, but for the time being, I just haven't bought any to try them out. But hopefully one day when I do, we can, you know, or I can show a video where we can take a look at how similar they are. But that being said, enough of my rambling. Uh, I want to show you the shoe. So like I said, these have been worn, I mean, everywhere, in every condition, and I mean, there's no creasing. Sorry, they're a little dusty. I 
the sole really isn't even that banged up. There is a little, I don't know how you can, how well you can see it. I'll try to put some pictures somewhere in this video just to kind of show you, because I mean, it has turned up a little bit. These were flat when I got them. But there you have it. Here is 10 years worth of wear, rain, snow, sleet, sunshine. As you can see, I guess he's, this is technically Blake stitched, I believe. As you can see, it's starting to wear down to where it's getting to the point that some of the soles thread it is starting to be flush because as you can see there's kind of a little channel here so obviously in 10 years it has worn you know this kind of lip down but that's to be expected these shoes definitely one day will be resold but you know I feel like they still have a little bit of life in them uh, especially the back it makes Makes it hard to want to get them resold when, I mean, they're really, they're perfect. Uh, here's the inside of the shoe. It's held up extremely well. I guess these are a 10. Uh, I thought they were a 10 and a half, but I guess they are a 10. And as far as sizing, I guess it technically doesn't really matter because you can't buy these anymore anyway. Last time I ever, I saw a pair that wasn't a complete oddball size. Come up on eBay, brand new in the box. I had a customer in my office where I worked at the time. And, um, no, I didn't have them in my office. I had them on the phone. And uh, I was on hold, and I saw them, and I told myself, I'm gonna buy these the minute I get off the phone. Because about the time that I was gonna buy them, the person I, I was taking off hold, and they were gone by the time I was done with that phone call. They were a chocolate suede, which I didn't even know they offered. I'd never seen a pair like that before. And they were gone. And I have been sad about it ever since. But such is life. Let's look at the other pair. These shoes, like I was talking about, they still feel brand new. I mean, these shoes are just incredible. Basically, no creasing really none. And over the 10 years that I've owned these shoes, I've had numerous kind of sports cars that are stick shift and things like that. So like I mentioned in the Carmina video, uh, tassel, not tassel, string loafer video, um, you know, if those have, you know, engaged a clutch thousands of times while I owned it, I mean, how many times do you think I've done it in these over a 10 year period. And look how well, I mean, they don't have a crease in them at all. And I think some of that goes to show just how necessary a shoe tree actually is because these shoes, just like all my shoes, the minute that I'm done wearing them for the day, before I do anything, before I untie my tie or, I mean, take anything out of my pockets, I put the shoe trees in them and let them air out for 24 hours before I put them back in the bag, back in the box, which these I no longer have a box for. I'm not exactly sure what happened to it, but it's gone. I do have the bags that they came in. And so, you know, I have a little tote that I'll put them in, a little plastic tote that I put them in. But I think that's why they've held up so well. And like I said, I do plan on getting them resold, but I just feel like they still have a little bit of life in them. And I have cut back on wearing them just because I can't replace them. But that's nothing really to show. There's not really anything else I can really say about them because I don't have any critique. There's nothing about them that could be better. Only thing that could be better about them was if they were still in production. 
So Alden, if you're seeing this, please make these again. Uh, these are definitely my favorite dress shoes probably ever. I think everybody should have a deal sled, <laughs> you know, style shoe in your wardrobe. And I would have these in every single color that Alden would offer them in if they would bring them back into production. But this is just a video I wanted to put out just because it is something different. Uh, you know, anybody can get a pair of shoes from somebody or from a company and do a quick review and, you know, say they've worn them or, you know, have some sort of limited opinion on them. But how many people can say, well, here's a review of a pair of shoes that I've had and worn and enjoyed for 10 years and this is what they look like. So, you know, just thought it would be fun to do something a little bit different and give you guys an idea of if you take care of your shoes. And what's interesting is I, it, it kind of made me kind of cringe a little bit to realize that in that 10 year period, I've really done no care on them, you know, other than dusting them off. If I walked out in the field for a funeral or something like that, there's really nothing that I've done to other than shoe trees to maintain these. And that's how well they've held up. I think it just goes to show, you know, just how well these shoes were made and how well the, the leather is. The leather feels just as buttery as it did the day I bought them. And I've never put any conditioner or polish on them whatsoever. And not on purpose. I just never felt the need. You know, where other dress shoes, they would start to feel dry or, you know, there would be some sort of idiosyncrasy about them to where, okay, yeah, I'll put some polish on them or I'll condition them or something like that. And with these, I've just never needed to. So enough of my rambling. Uh, I will try to put some pictures somewhere in this video. Maybe maybe I'll do it here uh, at the very end just to let you see kind of how they have turned up in the front just a little bit, uh, just to kind of show you, you know, the wear on them. But that's really all I have today. Thank you for listening to me ramble. I know it was kind of a lot and a lot of it probably unnecessary, but I've had a bunch of coffee this morning and just kind of you know how that goes, kind of energetic. Haven't had any food, so that's making me even more manic. <laughs> but I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.